Shalom, Kal Halayim, La Yehawa Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Racha HaKurash, Double Honor to the Apostles of Great Millstone, to the bishops and the elders at Ruwal who I learned this truth from, and uh, salutations and blessings unto you elect out there, 144,000 and the one third. Alright, so this lesson is um, going to delve into a little bit more on propaganda and how the you know how they pretty much, or Esau, the elites, right? They're, um, they're man. They're, 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 you know, they're, they're. He's a man of research. I'll put it that way, right? He's a man of research. He gathers data, uh, facts. You know, he studies human nature and instincts, psychology, the psyche. You know. Um, the scripture says uh, the, the book of Psalms says their heart, the, the heart is deep You know they, 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 they make a diligent search They accomplish a diligent search So They pretty much figured out Look From the early days of propaganda With the newspaper stand You know the radio And now you have mass media Right, social media mass programming and broadcasting all right so this is from research researchgate.ne all right dot net okay and it says role of propaganda and its effects on people's conscience okay Propaganda is a persuade is a per pervasive idea that persuades and influences people's beliefs, their behavior, attitudes, and opinions on any specific issues. Moreover, over the past 100 years, with the innovation of technologies, we can find or see propaganda in many areas, such as printing presses and the media, including TV shows, cartoons, newspapers, and advertisements. Etc. Furthermore, with these prop with these things, propaganda can easily spread their effects and manipulate people's minds. The purpose of this case study is examine about modern propaganda methods and how the media handles public and advertising advertisings. Why I chose this topic because nowadays these issues are sufficiently developed in the world, uh, and it has an effect, especially negative than positive. And of course, it impacts us, our society, and environment. That is to say, we must understand and study these things in order to know what what happening around us and avoid any manipulations that play with public opinion and emotions. Since one of the rules of propaganda is they will not be in direct contact with the mind. Instead, they will in contact with the emotions and feelings of the person. And this is how they sway people. This is how they, you know, guide the water, so to speak. You know, they um, they sway you by your emotions. Sensationalism, right? You have a term called yellow journalism, which is being uh, uh, too sensational, right? Uh, uh, pushing fear and panic. You know, you're in a constant state of fear. You're pretty much draining yourself, man. You know, so so when help comes, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. Of course I'm going to take it. The government's helping me. Because you're, you're in a state of destitution. Right? So it says propaganda is a phenomenon of human culture. Namely the dissemination of certain views and values. Has existed since ancient times. But as a term in the broad sense relatively recently. The concept is used both in positive and negative manifestations of coverage of certain values. In general it uses a number of propaganda techniques to achieve its goal. In other words, propaganda is the open dissemination of views, facts, arguments, and other information with the aim of forming public opinion or other goals persuaded by propagandists. Examples of coverage of positive effects can be propaganda of the popularity of a healthy lifestyle or, for negative purposes, propaganda in the world wars and the cold war when they manipulate people's minds with newspapers, televisions, and radio. On the other hand, propaganda is manipulating most people 
In a world with advanced technologies, the number of media has increased several times, but each of them, prov and it's interesting she said several because that, that represents completion. Daniel 12, right? It says knowledge shall be increased. All right, so we're in that time. Um, it says, but each of them provide news in a form that is useful for a particular financial and political group. And what we see on the internet, on television, radio, or newspapers sometimes filters out news or makes some fake news to make negative effects to public opinions, which happened during the First World War. Let me jump down. Right, role of propaganda and its effects on people's conscience. Furthermore, propaganda, modern propaganda, is a sufficiently consistent, continuous activity aimed at creating or informing various events in order to influence the attitude of the masses to ideas or groups of participants. According to Bernays, which Bernays, I have an article I'm going to get on him. I did a lesson on him before. Edward Bernays, known as the father of public relations or the father and or the father of propaganda right propaganda so this is what he said according to Bernay propaganda as a mechanism as similar to a large-scale proposal and believes that with its help millions of people as a whole get the same ideas in the early 30s of the 20th century the author distinguishes the following propaganda in the media which in his opinion has great potential the main means of dissem disseminating views is the press which is associated primarily with the level of development of this media and secondly with a high degree of trust in it modern cinema has great potential in the field of propaganda because it disseminates ideas and views the founder of modern propaganda writes it and watching a movie by the human mind is not aimed at critical perception of information received by a person understands that everything he sees is only fiction but all ideas or factors proposed by the authors of the picture take root even more on in it's so like even more on it at a subconscious level ultimately influencing the masses through famous personalities <laughs> aka people whose first one is necessary to portray the dignity of the person in the form of the mass instinctively requires a person who would become a symbol.